Hey guys, Deep Powered RC back again, and this is still on the video of the slow ultra stick. Um, I thought I would just do a quick video here to show you what I was doing. Um, maybe I'll bring you down here on the table closer to myself so you can exactly see what I'm doing. I am going to do right out of the gate. I'm going to try to install two. Elron servers. So factory comes with this one right here. Uh, you would take your two linkages here and simply put it in here and then hook it up and you're done. But what I'm going to do, I'm going to take this out because I have two more servos that should work perfect for this. And honestly, I thought these wasn't... Uh, digital servos at first and I'm still not certain that they're actually metal gear servos so what I have here with me is two metal gear servos so I'm just going to pull this sucker out of here uh oops seems like something stuck oh, there we go so you just want to take the two screws out Pull it down and out, if it will. Um, might have to get a screwdriver or something and kind of push it, pull it. Okay, what's going on here? Oh, it's in the side of a, like a channel. Okay, then. I did not realize they had it like trapped in the side of a channel. Um, it looks like they just have it embedded into the foam. Okay, that wasn't too bad. So there's the stock servo with the double arm on it. I've got pretty much two of the exact same servos here. These are actually a different number than what they have on here. These are A335s, both of them. So, what I need to do here is figure out which side is where. So, I'm going to put this one here. I might have should have grabbed me some push-ups um, before I started this project. Um, yeah, just get something the linkage work well for me. And... Well, physically, they look the same. Well, maybe not. Ooh, it looks like the stock server is a tiny bit smaller. So, but I think I can get it. I think I can get it down in there. Okay. Just got to get the wire down below the channel. And then get the rest of it in there there we go yeah it'll fit no problem so there's a hole already here there's a hole here here and here on both sides for the screw to go in for this one uh just like the other one that came out just make sure you have a screwdriver that is uh magnetic and obviously mine's not and with a bum thumb it's a little more difficult than it looks okay guys i'm just gonna go ahead and get these inserted both of them and then uh i'll come back and show you what it looks like okay guys i'm back sorry about that i just wanted to get one of these in I actually got the other servo in place. Got to find some little screws. So if you already got something at home that you'd like to use to do this, make sure you got some pretty tiny screws. I'll lay it right here. See that little guy? And he is tiny. Um, but that's what you need to put a second servo in here. Uh, make sure your uh, holes are lined up with your servo. And... Uh, Make sure you have two good 
thumbs when you do this too. I think that's uh, pretty much hindering my abilities here to do this. This should not be this difficult to do. Okay, good deal. I got the second one started. Get it in there. And, okay. So there you go. So now the servos are in place. Um, I think you need a, uh, you're going to need a, an extension to go. Because I'm uh, the reason for doing this, you want to be able to do both L rounds independently instead of being on a Y harness. So just the Y harness. Uh, actually, it doesn't even have a Y harness here because you did only have one servo. So, but get you another servo lead, just a short one. Um, this is all for this. This was the winged secondary servo installation. We'll go back to the airplane next for the rest of the install. Thanks for watching. Hey guys, he powered RC back again with the ultra slow stick. Okay, so we got our two uh, ailerons in there as needed to do our dual setup. And honestly, I think next, uh, actually, I gotta go ahead and put the wing on. No big deal. Uh, luckily, this thing is not too, too big. So, again, you just line up your dials. It's kind of awkward. The dials are in the plane. Normally, the dials are in the wing, but I understand why they did it the way they did it. Uh, it makes more sense for this plane to do it that way. So, you just line up the three dials in the front. Push those in all the way. Get your back end lined up here. And then you can take your two wing screws, which you can't see what I'm doing. Sorry. You got your two wing screws here. Just put them in and uh, tie them down. I don't think you have to tie them down too tight. Just tie them. Okay, guys. Cut back. So, these screws actually go in from the bottom. <clears throat> They're not going to fit if you try to put them in from the top. So, they go in from the bottom. So, I guess they did that to make it give it a little bit more clean look. And there she is, guys. All assembled. Now, all we got to do is uh, bind it to the radio. And um, put another extension on. So the extension that's already on here is going to be for the left wing. So go ahead and make that attachment. And they just have a short extension on here. You don't need a very long one. I'm going to look and see what I have laying around. So that one's made. I'll plug the second extension into channel 6. That way you can independently do that. So uh, Next one will be... Uh, radio programming, centering, I mean, so everything's centered, and then, um, hooking up all these linkages. So, you have your two short ones here for your iron, and your two longer ones here for your tail, elevator and rudder. Thanks, guys.